I thought it would be very interesting to not just show how to articulate and move and rotate and translate objects and families within Revit, but how to actually do multiple rotation. So for example, if you have an armature of a piece of construction equipment that needs more than one rotation, like my arm, you have your joint at your elbow, but you also have rotation at your shoulder. You may need to link that, those two joint movements together. So as, you're, as, you're, as, you're, as your shoulder moves, then it would also move your elbow. So these are more complicated rotation situations. Inherent within Revit, it wasn't uh, it wasn't originally intended to, to allow multiple joint rotations. You have to be very careful when you set up these, what we call these rotation rigs, to make sure that, that they're, they're properly assigned to each other so that as one moves, then the other one would move relative with it. And if you can do that, then you're actually able to simulate something that's called uh, inverse kinematic motion. Inverse kinematic motion basically uh, defines the process of you, you basically, much like my arm, you basically know um, the end product. So you have multiple joints, and for example, if this was a piece of construction equipment, you may have a bucket that's holding a human, and you need to reach a certain window. Well, you know, you know the final end location of where it needs to go. And then inverse kinematic motion calculates everything of all the joint motion of where it needs to be in between. You're not necessarily worried about that, only actually where you end up. So in Revit, if you set up all these types of rigs and associate them correctly, you will get that kind of motion, it's very exciting.